Hi, Ben Griffin from SC Shires here to talk with you about valve maintenance. We get a lot of questions about valve maintenance, how to oil your valves, what we should do to keep them going for years to come. And we have a saying here, oil is cheap, valves are expensive. Oil your valve. Oil your valve all the time and it will perform the way it was new for years to come. I have here both a rotary valve and an axial flow valve. Let's start with the rotary valve. That's what most people are familiar with. I have three different kinds of oils here. I have a light rotor oil, I have a bearing and linkage oil, and I have a tuning slide grease. Um, these are the SE Shires oils. These are our bespoke designs that are provided to us by Joe Hetman of uh, Hetman Products. The first one that you're most familiar with is the light rotor oil. This is a synthetic oil. You should do this every time you play, every time you play, every time you play. Just take the instrument, do a quick squirt down the slide receiver, just work it back and forth. That's all it takes. We actually recommend that you oil your valve after you play as well. Oil doesn't just lubricate the valve, it also uh, drives out any contaminants that are in there and it drives out water as well. You can also remove the tuning slide, which was easily done here, and you can do a little squirt down the neck pipe as well. That helps you get to a different part of the valve. As you do this, you're going to find what works best for you. Some people like doing it down the neck pipe, some people like doing it down the slide receiver. Every two to three days, you should be oiling the bearing. The bearing is actually what the valve rotates on. There's a spindle back here that the stop arm connects to. And there's a little gap between the top of the valve bearing and the stop arm. Place a couple drops in there and work it back and forth. After you do this, you may want to pull the tuning slide a little bit, which will create a vacuum and will pull the oil into it. Hear that pop? Additionally, you can take off the cap on the rotary valve and true bore valves. Take a drop of the light bearing and place it on the center onto the bearing. I like taking a drop of the bearing and linkage and putting it on either side of my lever. Not only does that lubricate that, but it's also going to drive out any contaminants that are in there. Dirt has a tendency to build up on both parts of the lever, and this will help to drive that out. Wipe off any excess with a uh, paper towel, and you're good to go. The other thing that we should know is the valve tuning slide. The nice thing about the Shires and Hetman oil products is that lighter viscosities break down the heavier viscosities. That does mean as you transport your instrument after it's been oiled, if there's oil in there, it's going to start to eat away at the tuning slide grease. And we see a lot of stuck valve tuning slides that haven't moved in years. It's very simple. Whenever you start to feel that it's not moving smoothly, take your tuning slide shell, put a little circle around the edge of each of the tuning slide legs. and reinsert it into the valve section. Reinsert it, and you're good to go. The only other thing that's missing that we do recommend, it does not come with our care kit, but several providers have it, is a mini ball or ball joint grease. That you're gonna to wanna to put a drop on each of the mini ball joints here and work it back and forth. That's gonna keep those from wearing out. Taking a look at our axial flow valve, Axial flow valves take lots and lots and lots of oil. They have larger bearing services, so they need more oil to both drive out the contaminants and also keep them operating smoothly. In this case, I do recommend taking off the tuning slide and first applying the light rotor oil down the neck pipe. This is going to help spread it throughout the entire valve, as well as getting oil onto the top plate. It's really kind of impossible to over-oil these things, so if you have any doubts, go with a little bit more. A bottle of oil literally costs ones of dollars. A valve section is almost 2000 Then, 
taking our light bearing and linkage, we put it again underneath the stop arm at the bearing plate. We can create a vacuum again with the tuning slide. It will help draw that oil in. If you do use the tuning slide to pull the oil in, make sure the lever is depressed when you push the tuning slide back in. Otherwise, it will push the oil out. You can put a little light rotor down the neck pipe receiver as well for good measure. As I said, it's impossible to over oil these things. So it's better that you have too much than too little. What do you do if your valve gets sluggish? Uh, that can happen either from a lack of oil or it can happen because tuning slide gel or, may, or a heavier weight oil is on the valve. In those cases, we recommend uh, flushing the valve with a lighter oil. Um, you don't necessarily have to use a synthetic one to do the flushing. You can use something light, uh, even Alcas, Blue Juice, or anything. Just push it out. Push out that oil, break it down, and then re-lubricate with whatever uh, lubricant you've been using. We recommend synthetic. If you have questions about this or anything else, please give us a shout. Info at seshires.com.